air pressure. The tire air pressure should be in accordance with the numeric requirements in the following chart. Check the fastening of the tire bolts. Check whether the cap is locked. If not, the lock indicator will light up. Attention! Before driving, check the traffic situation closely to make sure of a safe start. Fasten your seat belt if it's equipped in the truck. Start the engine. After starting up, the oil gauge immediately displays the oil pressure and the oil pressure indicator switches off. If the oil pressure gauge doesn't display the pressure, turn off the engine immediately to examine. Attention! 1. Each engine start time should then exceed 15 seconds. 2. Time interval between two engine starts should then be less than 30 seconds. 3. Don't rotate the engine in high speed when the engine just starts. When air pressure reaches 0.55 megaparts, warning lights go off and the alarm buzzer stops. Release the handbrake and you are ready to start driving. Attention, after starting the engine, run it at either speed for 3 to 5 minutes. Don't depress violently. Wait for the oil pressure and water temperature to normal. Then step down with gradually more pressure. Otherwise, the bearings and the ceiling run of the turbocharger will wear out prematurely because of a lack of oil. Power trucks use a full gearbox. It combines a primary box and a secondary one. There are two cans, 9 gears and 12 gears. The 9 gear box uses a double H pattern mechanism. Gears from 1 to 4 are in low range, from 5 to 8 are in high range. The gear box has two neutral positions, in low range. It's located in the neutral position between the 3rd and 4th gear, in high range. It's between 5th and 6th. The 12 gear box uses a transfer switch in the level to transfer between the high and the low ranges. When the switch is in the downward position, you may shift from gear 1 to 6 according to the chart. Gears from 1 to 6 are in the low range. When the switch is in upward position, you can shift from 7 to 12 according to the chart. Gears from 7 to 12 are in the high range. Step down on the clutch pad before starting the truck. After overcoming a clear resistance point, continue to press the clutch pad down to the end. At this point, with the clutch depressed, it can be used to put the truck in gear. Press the clutch pedal to the resistance point when shifting gear while driving. Pay attention when shifting the full gearbox. 1. The driver should use gear 1 or crowning gear when starting the truck in full load, and shift up in order rather than skipping the gears. 2. When changing gears, pull the gear lever smoothly till the gear shift has been completed. 3. Gear shift should pause between the high and the low shifts, otherwise the synchronizer service life will be affected. 4. In the neutral position, don't arbitrarily shift the gear level in horizontal level to avoid unnecessary abrasion. 5. In normal travel, to ensure the transmission bearings and the gear fully lubricated, don't use the free sliding or flame mask sliding. The drive hangs of the whole trucks are equipped with inter-wheel differential lock and inter-axle differential lock. When the wheel on the drive axle slips, use the inter-wheel differential lock. When you press the inter-wheel differential lock switch, the locks on the front and rear axles integrate and its indicator on the dashboard turns on. Now the truck can be driven forward. <laughs>